Islam Dwayne. I'm still at Whole Foods, um, March 8th, 2019. As I was sitting here uploading um, Burger King information about what I work, and I told you that um, the guy um, that had on the um, veteran, um, Vietnam veteran, um, came in um, into Burger King, Vietnam veteran um, emblem on his clothes, and he was asking to take pictures, at, um, to take pictures for Burger King or something like that, I'm not sure. Uh, so I was just uploading, um, I do my videos everywhere. I try to do the videos to you everywhere I go. And I send it to you in your email. Um, as I was sitting here doing that, um, all of a sudden I started to feel pressure around my um, back. Um, it's, it's definitely forced. It's because I felt this way before. Uh, Imani Gray hyphen Bay and I, Ron Arrington hyphen Bay, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. As Hebrew Muslims, we don't know anyone personally here. Um, no one can say they had a conversation with us, but I have noticed in a personal way, or we've gone out, but um, actually a guy did do that and he lied. And so I did a video about it, because I'm like, why would someone lie? Okay, as, so as a Hebrew Muslim, a soulful, let me put soulful Hebrew Muslim, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis. Um, but um, I started to feel pressure around my back, my lo um, lower back, and it was definitely forced. So I'm sitting here at Whole Foods um, using my tablet. And what else I wanted to tell you? It was a thought that I wanted to tell you. I'm trying to remember. Uh, anyway, I, um, I took the picture um, of the, oh, I took, I took the picture of the uh, menu at Burger King. Um, so, um, Oh, in reference to not knowing anyone personally. Oh, that's what I was gonna say. I noticed for the past couple of days, someone's been um, texting um, my phone. Um, someone actually called my phone and didn't say anything on our cell phone. And uh, if you listen to the voicemail, it, it, it is, it's nothing, it, it absolutely, you don't hear anything. Then someone texts and said, hi Imani, this is Jackie. Okay, and Imani doesn't know anyone named Jackie. So someone, I told you at the American Extended Stay, there's still male, like a male outside the room uh, saying I love you, mumbling. Um, they still saying brother sometimes, like begging, like a deranged. And I can only assume that they have the telepathic code. And I told you about the black male that came to Burger King with the um, army emblem on the back of his truck. Um, saying how he's a, he was a black male um, sing, singing how he gonna get a soul. He kept singing over and over again how we gonna get this soul when I first came to Annapolis. So um, anyway, um, so now someone has called my uh, called my cell phone and texting. And did I told you about the the other male that little brown skin? I don't know where he was from. Maybe from Mexico. He actually said his name was Alice and was friends with Imani. And I said, you are? I was surprised because I don't know, we don't know anyone personally here in Annapolis, Maryland. So I asked Imani. Imani was like, no, I don't know anyone. I don't know him. So I, I found this odd because as Hebrew Muslims, we're correcting our status as Moorish American. We, we reclaim our nationality because you know black is not a nationality. White is not a nationality. And you have to um, take an affirm, affirm or affirm to uphold the Constitution and the proclamations of Abraham Lincoln. We've we done this um, through Moorish American National Republic. And um, that includes the 13th Amendment with 20 sections and Abraham Lincoln's proclamations. Um, and that does, of course, the Constitution of 1787 and all of it. So um, there's, um, there's many, um, Names or terms um, groups have, but they but they are not true national. Or I guess you want to say it doesn't make them have a nationality. So um, we are still correcting our status. So I found it really odd some of the things we are experiencing because um, if we if a person uh, doesn't want to know anyone personally, and you're not trying to um, cause them harm, you are just. You, you speak and deal with the people you know, um, that shouldn't be an issue, right? Especially when you're living in a place where um, people have gone to college, 
uh, probably making over three to four hundred thousand a year. There's, they have a form of education. Now, there's different forms of education. There's education of how to be civilized, and there's education that you learn how to um, do arithmetic, and you know how to speak well. So, um, but almost all these people have that code, the telepathic code. So that, that really makes a big difference, okay? Almost all of them have it, so Islam. It's um oh, it, oops. it's March the eighth, twenty nineteen. March the eighth, twenty nineteen. Oh, by the way, the um, pressure stopped when I started doing the video around my back. 